a boom 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 that's our reporting live again for another episode of the Kerry Economy my main man I call him the given Mr Given say uh he will kindly introduce himself on camera and tell um the people who are watching this video right now what he currently does for a living in 2020 right, take it away sir uh thank you uh igama vetu given uh last mm. month i am an ESG consultant at EBS advisory so, Ooh, wait Yeah, it, okay, come back. We have been some time using our team. Come back, EBS, you what? You are what? EB, EBS advisory. So it's like environmental business strategies. So that's that's okay. what we provide to our clients, yeah. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, so, let's just get into this. Okay, let's get into the the that that actual concept and the actual job title EBS. What is it? EBS what okay. you mean? So, you are so advisor no dot. <laughs> So um EBS advisory is the name of a company okay mm-hmm. but like we are rendering um ESG services so by ESG I mean uh environmental and social and corporate governance to uh fund managers and private equity firms so mm. most of the um private equity firms or fund managers if they going to make any acquisitions they have to do environmental and social and corporate due diligence so mm. primarily that is our um that that is our sort of like job what we do we then go do 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 diligence and then we mm. report uh, to to the fund managers and uh private equity firm sometimes we and now that there is a growing sort of like um a growing niche of impact investment we also report to impact investors now they come to us and say please okay. uh you know develop uh the, the sort of like baseline um baseline theory of change for um uh, impact investments okay and um that's that's what we do for them so it's pretty much it's pretty much sorry sorry consult- sorry guys sorry i'm going to i'm going to stop you there i'm so lost and confused by this time i have an idea ubuti so just take me back um okay let me put it like this in 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 um when you were studying i'm guessing you studied for the thing that you're doing right now eh? yeah, yeah what did what did you study i studied uh i did my undergrad in bsc geosciences which i majored in geology and geography and i did my honors in environmental science in environmental so, science yeah Okay so, so but, but now, okay. but like now the trick is what I do um it's not it's not um it's still in my field but like now it's more lean to finance because oh, we're reporting okay. we're reporting to the fund managers so whatever that so we're trying to integrate we're trying to integrate um traditional capital and uh non-traditional capital because mm. people have this idea that ah uh, an environmental compliance is just uh, you know a a a a a a, a tick box exercise but like okay. we trying to show our clients that you actually can derive value from uh all this compliance uh being mm. compliance with the uh, national legislation international um uh, international frameworks you know so oh. to say that 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 companies or mine, mining companies that need to adhere to so we actually trying to uh uh I would, I would say to unlock value um mm. through applying with legislation and then they will generate more revenue either in a long run or in a short space of time so that that depends upon the the, the cycle of investment for a uh, for that for that for that particular client Okay. Okay, so let me put it like this on your job like right now when you wake up say Monday to Friday for a person who's in high school right now they're like okay I can hear what you're talking about when what is it that you actually now do like like if you put it in lane in in, in what's in alignment terms what is it that you okay. actually do like literally like the physical or or, or the technical work that you actually do when I'm just Okay, so the problem is that with 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 consulting man in our space it's not mm. one thing okay okay it's not like it's not like nyavuga uh namhlanje nyazuthi okay every day i know what i'm going to do but like it's not mm. like it's going to be the same throughout the year for the same six months mm. so a client will come will have uh let's say holland will come and say um we there's a mine mining company that wants mm. uh, 
uh, they that wants us to insure them. So that's all that's saying coming to us that mm. this mining company wants us to insure them. So go okay. to a liability risk assessment. Oh okay? yes, yes, liability risk assessment. So that's what I'll be doing for that project, maybe for like a month. Okay. Okay. I'll be working on that particular project. But once mm. that project is finished, then I will hear uh, we'll have another client saying um, there is this a new farm is opening there, uh, maybe in Botswana, and they need um, they need they need a uh, resettlement plan. So let's mm. develop a resettlement plan for them. So mm. this resettlement plan, they're going to consider all the environmental and social issues. And then mm. that's when we go. So it's not primary. That's why it's, it's in, if in a consulting space, man, it, it's, it's hard to say, uh, but like it's always what, what keeps us together is that we work within the boundaries of the legislation and, and, mm. and, and the frameworks. But mm. to say, Ruti, uh, I mean, uh, you know, I'm a truck driver. I just drive. I go mm. there and go there. Or like I deal with sales. Uh, it's, today I'm doing something else. And the yes. other day, it's, it's something else. So it's, okay. it's, um, it's really, really broad. But like it's within... The, the peripheries of the environmental legislation and okay, um, basic. And, 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 and social and, and corporate governance. So that's okay. why like, our three pillars really, it's like environmental, social and corporate governance because we okay. also look at the, um, at the, what you call this, like, um, you know, like the, the companies that are listed on a JSC, they have to mm. report in a certain way, you know, like mm. uh, they have to comply with King, with King's Four frameworks, so we have to mm. ensure that that they they do that, you know. And okay. um, so it's pretty much hard to to like to say it in one sense sentence. Okay. To, okay. This is what I do because it could be anything. No, but I'm getting it. I'm actually understanding now. It's a bit more clear. Basically, in 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 this case, you're telling me, say me now, is what I I, I don't want to say I want to start a business, but I want, let's say, for instance, to, 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 to expand or, or like the mine. I have a mine, I have a business that has an element of environment in it. So what you guys will do, what you guys will do, you will come basically, basically to assess the state of the business. If I'm not mistaken, the state of a business would say, OK, for you to do the things that you are saying that you want to do, is it even possible in terms of the legislation? Like for instance, I'll make a, a, a simple example. If I want to build a line of flats, say I want to build flats in this particular area, a person like you all works in the in, in environment because Kona, there's places you can't just go and build. They, they call heritage places. You can't just go and build. They will send people like you basically to do an assessment in that particular area to see, would say, okay, can we even start building in this particular area? What are the repercussions if you build in this particular area? I'll make an example, another example. When you are driving on the N2 from Richards Bay to Durban, I think, I'm not sure, and you're approaching, I think it's after I'm tuned in, I'm not sure, there's a mine they just started there. I don't know what they're mining, but now I'm guessing, we'll see people uh, like are you. you. Jimson Dam, it might be Jimson uh, yeah, it's possible. It's possible, it's, it's possible yes. Yeah. So people here, uh, people like you were sent to do the environmental check, not only the environmental check, but also the financial situation of that whole process. So we'll see how can it go, would it go smoothly? Can it even be basically um done? That's what you're telling me. Yeah. Pretty yeah. much what you so, do. Yeah, oh. Yes. Yes, that's 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 exactly what we do. But like I I, w- I wouldn't say that primarily we also do financial checks because like that's okay. that's for the accountants to do okay. our financial due diligence but like whatever that we do in our space we all we all we always try to make sure that it adds value in terms of uh revenue uh in terms of developing revenues for the business so we okay. have financial insights but we're not particularly uh doing financial due diligence so okay that, so that, that's pretty much it we we if if I was in a um, if I was at the portfolio level, like I mean, mm. if I was at the company, so mm. what I would do, I would be like making sure that uh, in terms of environment, in terms of uh, health and safety, 
business, uh, uh, I mean labor and, uh, and, 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 and to sort of like make sure that the, the affairs with the community at which the, the business operates are actually in order and then yes. the business follow the, the legislation, it's is in compliance with the legislation in terms of uh, the community and its operation and its employees and the environment. If oh, I'm yes. Formative. But like now, because I am um, at the consulting firm, like yes. we are providing, we are providing those services to various clients. So okay. it's, it's like I work with various industries, you know, okay. it's not only mines, yeah. Okay, okay, no, I get it, Anjan. So now tell me, how does, because um, you're not that old, how does like a kid in high school say, this is the thing? How did you even stumble in with this is the thing that I want to do, like right now? Because you, you were saying all these things, you're saying in my head, I'm like, but now when I was in high school, I, I've never even heard of a job like this, let alone know and meet somebody who's actually doing it. Because I believe we are doing COVID right now. You are one of the people who are working. It's even though you're working from home, but it's not a situation where it's like a bar. There's nothing we can do for you right now. We can see what's going on. You you are able to handle your business. You're still able to provide for your family. Then how do you get from given a high school? Where which which high school did you go to first of all? Uh, yes, I went to uh, Gawaz High School. Then I did my grade eleven and twelve. Uh, Bismal. Yes, you're to. Yeah, yes, yeah, so, we busy man. It's like a Malia, so busy man. Then how do you from <laughs> a, a kid from a busy man say, okay, this is the career path I'm choosing for myself. With all these various career paths, some of them are glamorous, some of them are like, uh, yeah, but when, how do you get your mind with, okay, this is the thing I want to do. How did that happen? Okay, to be honest with you, man, like one thing I was really, really, when I was in matric, I was thinking, what is it that I'm, I'm going to do, you know? And, mm-hmm. uh, um, and I realized, with you, you know what? I was really good at geography. Okay. And, uh, really, really good. And I loved geography so much. And mm. I was like, okay, let me just do anything that's related to, to, to geography. Uh, and okay. uh, like, I did my research. I was like, okay, I can be an environmental scientist. I always knew that I want to be an environmental scientist. You know? mm-hmm. But And uh, while I was doing my research, I came across geology. And when I started learning about geology, it's a study of rocks, how you extract minerals from rocks, and so that mm-hmm. concept value from um, extracted earth. And um, I was like, okay, I'm going to do that. That's, okay. that's how I decided. Because like, I just knew that I'm, I'm, strong in the, I'm strong in geography, so I might mm-hmm. as well just do something in geography. So that's how I took a decision. And mm-hmm. uh, I think then life took its cause you know and mm. because uh, as as i went to university i was like it's only thing i know let me just study this and i studied it and because it was i think it was my um, strongest point I, mm. I did i did fairly well mm. and i graduated and uh started uh, i started working at mtuba duba as like a junior geologist okay so we're doing exploration there um, mm. anthracite uh, we're mm. exploring anthracite coal uh, and then I was there for like six months mm. and until like I ran out of a span you know? and then I was yes. like I was like okay mm. yeah, I was in, in BDC. it was really really tough then because like mm. one has picked up uh, responsibilities I'm sorry like, uh, no it's not a problem mm. So um, I had picked up our responsibilities, you know, like uh, in Bilinzin. And mm. I then um, decided to, to come to Joburg. That's when I met you, you know. <laughs> yes. I was like, let me, let, let, me, let me go hustle there and look for a job. And okay. uh, because while I was still at varsity, I had made, I was involved in the surveys and I mm. had made uh, sort of like network with some of the people working at the Royal Haskening. So mm-hmm. I can't take it, right? <laughs> sure. Okay, I'll call them again. So, okay. um, um, then no, Mundulo, I said no. If you're in Joburg, man, like, just come and assist us with some work. And the staff mm-hmm. started as an intern at EBS. And mm-hmm. afterwards, then I, um, uh, I then, I then they then took me permanent. So. Oh, wow. Okay, I love I love your story because you're saying all the things that actually made or make successful people. One of the things that you're saying, 
you studied something that when after varsity after high school you went and studied something that you felt which it connected with you when everybody was going because i'm sure Buti, everybody that you in the very same class you were with they ended up in different fields now because yeah. geography is not the only thing why found that there's other things we found in geography but you studied something that spoke to you geography spoke to you you were already good at it you felt like you were good at it and you went and studied something along those lines you didn't now move figure varsity to diverse so meaning it's very important Uti, as a kid even in high school when you're choosing your subjects choose something that you feel Uti, you know what i may be good with finance let me study something that has to go along the lines of finance Anjali. because you don't know where the journey it's not the end of the journey there's always like levels that you can take once you're done but you 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 went basically and studied something that spoke to you and then after that even after university you went after waking m tuba tuba and said okay life is tough right now like in, let me not just sit with this uh, degree i have let me go and find some work somewhere else like leaving your comfort zone and challenging yourself and coming to a place like job work where it's very very tough to make it in and say i'm going to try and make a living for myself you came through in the company you're working with you were humble enough to say hey i'm going to do an internship i'm starting from zero again it's fine let me do an internship again and start and now you've been growing which is very very good and which is one of the reason why, reasons why we do this video so that you can show kids guti don't see who give in the mind eh? driving is in five years i'm seeing him living in an expensive house driving his dream car and say how oh, this guy but she wins a matenda matenda no it's not people actually apply themselves in the world you know, yeah, well, as much as you are we can do tenders a lot no, but people if you apply yourself and education can take you so far then just saying good hey this is the ceiling for me say that, that again you can say yeah, that again education can yeah, well. take you so far yeah, well, I'm yes saying, like this is what i know now that um, 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 to, um sometimes you know like there's something that's uh to to all of us there is there's something that's itching somewhere you know like it's like something that that calls you you see it you know and then that's mm. that's something that's not education can give you you know it's something yes. that uh that 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 is personal and if it's if it itches that it requires you to scratch it because no one else in a yeah. way, know, man, only you so yeah education take you so far man but like we should encourage um uh, we should really encourage education to uh um, yes especially like young black people and uh um, yes. just tell them to you know study but self education as well is really really critical because like I, i don't think i wouldn't even have met you if if i hadn't been if i hadn't gone through education if i hadn't gone yes. through like this through the training yeah, yeah i wouldn't have met a lot of people man that i have yes. met, you know Yes. So, um, we should encourage people, but like the other thing is that let's also tell young people that you know what when you have something itching, like as a dream, if even yes. if it's in your something that you think I've never done this before, but mm. you know what it's itching. I want to do this. You should go ahead and you know do it and try it and try it. Yeah, it's a similar thing with what I'm doing with the career corner because it's something that I've always wanted to do, and I was sitting dream up, but it's just that now. It's easier with the technology. It's easier that like yeah. people if they go down yeah. to pay, they will see which I will go into one on one interviews. But it was very very costly. But now with yeah. the technology that we have, you are yeah. where, where are you like right now? Just so that people yeah, can know. Good. In second, they don't imagine. So sure, yeah. So sure, sure. I mean, Joe Beck. I'm doing this thing before I would have to head gone, traveled probably fly or drive down get guests but now we can just yeah. say hey listen let's get online let's do this interview let's spread this information and this which is, is where very... everyone is now like everyone exactly is IG. everyone is on the platforms now you know exactly like we are locked in but like we're out there exactly which is very very dope and i feel like we should take advantage that we have like right now for our kids to try and do something that's positive with the platforms that we have and we can't just have people posting all these things i will not i will not mention here because they're living their lives but now there has to be some positivity that comes out of this thing and i really like to thank you um so for your time so basically before we leave a kid who wants to study what you're doing when i wish which varsity did you uh, graduate from like which route uh, did you get education it, then it was called uh nelson mandela metropolitan university now it's called nelson mandela university in pe in pe, in PE. wow yeah. was so you went all the way to pe to come and study Dude, thing it was, you know what I, i wouldn't i wouldn't have i wouldn't have went to pe right so yeah. what happened was um I, i got i got a vice chancellor scholarship and i was like yes. i'm gonna study for free i am oh, going okay. there so i i, 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 I initially because like I, mm. i had um 
I received now kind of what you call it's a conditional offer, but like it's okay. So like a, you know, you you have a space in advance, but like you know, you're gonna use NS Plus and all. That. And I was like, I chose the scholarship. And the other thing is that I just wanted to be to be in a new space, new environment where I didn't know anyone, mm. starting new life, and mm. just build my networks. So it, it yes. was great. It was a good four years of my life. Yeah. And that's and that's so, another another thing what you're saying here that I'm picking up that is very important. Good value university, umufunda. Okay, fine. You can have like social clubs, but make sure that you build a network for yourself. Like I'll make an example with me. That when I first started these interviews, the people who started I started interviewing who are working, who've been working for years now, are people I knew, people I was friends with. You know what I mean? It's very important. Good once you in university now, make sure that you 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 because you're not just there to get your degree. The people you communicate with. It's very important for you to keep in touch with them. Hey, what's your Facebook? Let's become Facebook friends. Let's become Twitter friends. Let's follow each other on Instagram. You don't know what to find in five years' time where your your career paths can meet or where they would have diverted where they can. Meet. It's very very important because now because we have these things before. Ever since I can tell you right now, a person who graduated 20 years ago where I graduated, it's very hard to track people you went to school with. But now it's you guys hard. are watching. You you graduating in the time with the social media. You can follow each other. You can do all of these things. Like, make sure that you use the, the, the tools that you have to build a network that would help. You can't just have a network. You boom, nah, the pen. You say, this, I'm not going to say, she's a now. Maybe you can't have you full of people that you see the future with. <laughs> you know what I mean? You cannot. You cannot. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's really important. Like, if, especially when you're still in varsity. And even, like, getting involved, man. Like, you know, it's like, there are things like adversity, listen, they find a house call, you know, like mm. be a mentor, resident mentor, all those things, man. It, it gets mm. you connected because like you, you, you're in a space where you interact with people, you interact with, um, mm. you interact with people from different backgrounds, from diff, uh, different like, sort of like societies, you know, and, mm. and you get to expand your, your Get, you get to expand your experience with people, you know. Mm. So it's 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 really really critical because like you never know, man. Who will I work with one day? Yes, yes. So like it's it's always important to be good to people, you know, and 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 uh, network and um, yes. you know, yeah, just be good to people, man, and respect nah. yourself. Yeah. Okay. Now, thank you, sir. Without um, you doing this interview, I know it's very hard for certain people in certain positions to come out and do stuff like this because you're working for a company. There's policies in the company. You don't want to step into any toes. So you have to do it in a way but you express yourself, but without exposing the nitty gritties of the, of the company that you're working for in the particular in the particular point in time. Because that's another thing that I'm realizing with most people, Anjalo. But again, thank you for thank so you much know, for character information is really really confidential. So yeah, exactly, it's, exactly. It's really important to note that. Yeah. So a person who started seeing this video in the beginning was like, "This guy is having a hard time." No, it's not. There's things you'd understand this thing as you grow. But there's things you can't just go out and say, "I'm going to do an SAPC interview." Saying I'm working for this thing is very very important. But you 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 have to be respectful to your employers. You have to be respectful to the people that are giving an opportunity. But at the same time, if you are in this position of helping, you can really really help. Of which is I believe with most people are. It's just that navigating through this thing is very, very tricky. But with people like you, we salute you and we thank you here from One Nation Career Corner. Sir. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much. On, 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 yes, on uh, they can just go and research more things that have to do with environment, environmental awareness. If you want to be in that space, go and research more. If because like it's a very lucrative market. People who are, I know a lot of people are working in that space and they're really making a killing out of it. Sir? Yeah, anyway, before you go, so we have a slogan we're doing here, sir, for the kids. This is Shia, Sissi. Ratata, Keria Corner, Ratata, I'm Shia in the Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ratata, or Ratata. Ratata, Keria Corner, Ratata. Ratata, Keria Corner, Ratata. Yes, sir, thank you very much. Dream big, think sharp. Ra, cut, we are. <laughs>